Kim Kardashian collaborated with Dolce & Gabbana on a fashion line. At first I was like, oh, that's cute. But then I learned more about the collection and it's so cool. The entire collection is based off of Dolce & Gabbana runway looks from like the 90s and early 2000s. I don't know a lot about Dolce & Gabbana. I hope I'm even saying the name right. <laughs> You're gonna roast me in the comments if I'm not. But the brand seems very like moody, lacy, gaudy with some like religious undertones. I think it's actually who did Kourtney Kardashian's whole wedding, that vibe. So we are going to shop the collection today and I did get something for myself and I got something for you. So as we're shopping and looking at all of this stuff, I want you to try to guess what I bought. It was a splurge because some of the prices of these items make me want to throw up. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> okay, here's the website. Right off the bat, we've got a whole bunch of leopard print things. We've got this cute little bag. See what I mean? by like the 90s, early 2000s vibes though. Look at this jumpsuit. Oh, the back is kind of interesting. Why is there just a random like panel of black? I feel like it would be better if it was all leopard, but what do I know? This coat though, I'm obsessed with, but what I'm not obsessed with is the fact that it is $11,000. <laughs> How cool is this though? It's like the ultimate Corella Deville moment. I think it's fluffy too. Oh, maybe someday in like a year or two, it'll be on clearance. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, maybe. I feel like Dolce & Gabbana is one of those brands that sometimes you can see it at like Saks on clearance. You never know. I'll give you guys $200. Take it or leave it. Okay, we've got some boots that match. I love the little uh, DG gold on the heel there. Really cute. Oh my gosh, they have this necklace that says just Kim in big gold letters. Let me tell you, I was tempted to get this one, <laughs> but I don't know if I would ever be in the mood to like walk around with Kim's name on my neck, to be honest. Like it's cool, but Maybe if my name was Kim. So this like little line within the collection is all kind of the same theme. Very, very sheer. Oh, this one, the long sleeve version. This is so pretty. So expensive, but so pretty. Oh my gosh. And these satin gloves that match, they're $500. It's giving like Titanic vibes. I love it. I just think they did a really good job with this collection. I just really like it. I don't normally <laughs> have this big of a response to design designer collections, but I think they did a really good job with this one. Okay, this one's a little more extra. <laughs> I don't, I'm, it's very runway. I wouldn't say it's the most wearable item in the collection. It's different. It's giving wedding night. Apparently it's based on like a 1999 look that they did. Okay, here we go. The velvety stuff. I think it's like a really, really dark purple. It looks like she's wearing it over some sort of pants, which is cool. And with the gloves, I actually reached out to Dolce & Gabbana via DM when I found out about this collection because I was born in 1994. So I asked them, hey, are there any pieces that are from 1990 94. And they sent me the most like generic AI generated response. Click on the following links to see the look of the fall winter 2023-24. I don't think there is anything from 1994. I can't seem to find anything from it. I even like scoured through all of the influencers that they invited to this event to see if any of them were wearing something with the 1994 little patch on it and I couldn't, so that was a bummer. Let me know below if any of these pieces were the year that you were born though. Maybe the item that I picked for you is that one. You never know. Oh my goodness, this velvet coat. <gasps> I just think this dark purple is so beautiful. $6,000, a little bit cheaper than the leopard print one, but still a lot. Oh, this one's interesting. The PVC calf length dress. It's literally plastic. $3,000 for literal plastic. But the plastic stuff doesn't stop there. I'm not gonna lie, I really like this bag. And if you go to any sort of like concerts or sporting events, they all have this requirement where they want you to have a clear bag. It's $2,000. It's gotta be slightly better quality than like your typical plastic bag, right? At least that's what the designers want us to think. I don't know. I, I went back and forth on this one because it's fun. You can wear it as a crossbody bag too. It, it, it's just a lot of money. We got more, even more plastic though with this trench coat. I think this one is so cool with the contrasting black lines. It almost gives it like a cartoony look. Obsessed. We've got some sock boots. I feel like it wouldn't be a Kim collection without some boots 
like this. <laughs> got another purse. This one is completely bedazzled. <laughs> kind of fun. Oh, we gotta look at these jeans. Patchwork denim jeans with rip. These are about the most 90s looking jeans I've ever seen. They're very interesting. It's almost like two jeans, like layered on top of each other. I don't see myself ever paying $2,000 for jeans. <laughs> okay, I wasn't a fan of the first plasticky dress, but this one's actually really cool. It's like throwback, but also so futuristic. This long black dress. This is giving Morticia Adams vibes and I love it. <laughs> it actually looks so comfy and flowy. It's very meshy. I'm a fan of this one. This is cool. They have a few of these pieces with these like chunky bedazzled finishes on them. $12,000? $12,000 for probably plastic crystals. <laughs> I get, I get that it's designer. I get that it's art, but some of these prices, man, it's a lot. Oh, this one's cool. I think that Kim has actually worn this one, this like sparkly top and bottom, but just the crop top is already 6,000. <laughs> oh, it's so much, but it's so pretty. I think this is the cheapest thing in the collection is it is a silk tie for $265. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, here's another favorite. It's another coat, of course. It's so poofy. It literally looks like a duvet from a bed, but I'm obsessed with it. Was it Cara Delevingne at the Met Gala that had the big poofy dark red coat? It's kind of that vibe. I like it. Not for $10,000, but I like it. <gasps> these shoes, these silver shoes are so pretty. We've got this cute little silky look. What do you even call this? A shrug? I don't know, but I love it. I love these earrings. They're they're just like so beautiful and simple. I love the black stones and the silver DG. I think they're actually clip-ons, which is interesting. Really pretty though. Okay, this jumpsuit. I have really been on a jumpsuit kick. I love them. They're just so simple. Like you don't have to think about what outfit you're gonna wear and then you can like spice it up with some cute shoes or gloves or a jacket or whatever. So jumpsuit could be a win, 1992. And then of course you can always pair it with one of the most extra things in the whole collection, these bedazzled gloves. Loves, which similar to the bodysuit, $3,000. Okay, we've got another beautiful silky sheer jacket. I think I like this one better than the first one. Just the fit of it is unbelievable. Oh. I want this so bad, but it's so much money. It's so pretty. It's just very like 1930s. I love it. Everything about it, except the price. <laughs> um, we've got this interesting set here. I don't think I love what's going on in the front there. It's giving period underwear. <laughs> yeah, don't love this one. Um, next. <gasps> okay, this next set is so cool. I don't know how like wearable it actually is for me, but it's cool. How cool? is this? It comes with like these off the shoulder sleeves and the way it halters around the neck. It's so cool. And then obviously the other piece is these leggings. This is a 1991 inspired look. It's so cool all together. And then it has the built-in boots on the bottom. It's so cool. Okay, so that is the collection. Are you ready to see what I got us? Okay, are you guys ready to see what I got? It's... You literally can't see anything, can you? <laughs> the jumpsuit! Woo! Let me know in the comments if you were right, if you guessed that this is what I got, but uh, I'm so excited for it. The fabric feels really good. And then it has the cute little 9192, even though that's not the year I was born, unfortunately. Shout out 9192, babies. Okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> Ta-da, I love this. Could I have gotten literally any other black jumpsuit from any other brand for like a 10th of the price? Absolutely, but I really like this one. I like how it fits. Although for some reason, the neck does give me the world's worst double chin. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. I like when I dance in it. It's pretty stretchy. It's really tight. It's really like uh, really snatching me up. I was not talking into the mic that whole time. Whoops. <laughs> But it looks good. I like the little date. Just very simple. I feel like I can make a bazillion different items out of this. But I do have to tell you something. This is actually a two part outfit. So let me go get the second thing that I bought. All right, are you ready for the other thing I got? Ta-da, the gloves. <laughs> 
$3,000. I ordered the gloves. Aren't they beautiful? Honestly, I just really wanted this look because Kim actually leaked this exact outfit on her Instagram like months before the collaboration. And I remember trying to figure out where she got this outfit because I thought it was so cool. And then boom, turns out it's her own collection. <laughs> so these gloves are super cool. They have like the, the bracelets on them. <laughs> it's like, they're cool, but don't you kind of think you could just like DIY your own for pretty cheap? <laughs> what we did. <laughs> okay, I did actually order the real ones. I instantly had regret, I'm not gonna lie, because they were $3,000. And then they just like weren't showing up. So finally I emailed them and I was like, hey, where are the gloves? And they said, just kidding, we don't have any gloves to send you. So I actually wasn't that mad because I got a refund and we just made these. And it's like a totally similar vibe, I think. Like, you can't really tell, right? Except for maybe this arm where we glued them on and they're falling off. But we don't need to talk about that. The job Jumpsuit is legit though. Like, and I do see myself wearing this jumpsuit all the time, but I don't know. These gloves were fun, but in reality, I'm glad I didn't get the real thing. I think these two boxes are your items. It's, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. It's a t-shirt of Kim eating pasta. I don't know, I'm just obsessed with it. And I know one of you will be too, <laughs> but I got one more thing for you. This is gonna be good. I think it's this. This is a huge box for what it is, but let's see. <gasps> Oh my goodness, it's all velvet. <gasps> so beautiful. Okay, ready for the reveal? Authenticity certificate. Okay, here it is. Ta-da! So cute. I had to get you these earrings when I saw them. I actually didn't know that they were clip-ons when I ordered them, but hey, now anybody can wear them, whether your ears are pierced or not. I just love these. <laughs> Unless nobody wants them, then maybe I'll keep them for myself, but. <laughs> I want to gift one of you these earrings and this Kim tea. <laughs> Somebody that would love to have a piece of this collection, but maybe you can't afford to right now. Cause I remember a few years ago when like stuff like this would happen and I would have so much FOMO. So I want to be your big sister Hope that's spoiling you a little bit. So if you're interested in getting the t-shirt and these lovely earrings, all you have to do is text Kim to my phone number at 310 582-5313. Oh, I think the bracelets are done. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out all of my other Kardashian clothing hauls if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next video. Say bye, YouTube.